Hello. So we have been in all electric household for a while now, and this is a quick update to show how it's going. I thought we might need to get a wall connector, having to charge two Teslas now, but actually using one mobile connector is working just fine for both cars. We went ahead and got a cable organizer also. Um, this is the old connector. This is the new one. If you look closely, you can see the older wire is a little bit thicker than the newer wire because the older one can charge at 40 amps, the new one just does 32. You can kind of see in here a little bit of Tropical Storm Barry in the background. Um, but this was my old setup. I would have my cable plugged in right here, which is right under my box. I would run the cable behind my little shelves and normally my car would be backed all the way in and I could plug it in right there. The problem with that setup is it wouldn't reach my wife's charge port, which is way over here. If she pulls in, or it would be way in the back in this corner if she backed in. So for a short period of time, the only way I could plug her car in without having to move my car was to kind of throw the cable under my left rear wheel and kind of run it under the car so I did because it wasn't long enough to go completely around my car. So our solution is to use an extension cable, which isn't really recommended by Tesla, but I think that was more of a precautionary thing to keep people from causing fires by using lower grade cables. But now that the new cable only uses 32 amps, it, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. This is our new 50 amp cable. It's a very, very thick cable that I have run behind my shelves. And it reaches all the way over here which I have connected to the my mobile connector and it'll be able to reach my car which went back all the way in will be right back here and it can reach all the way to my wife's car up here so it's perfect I use this mirror as a little spot to help me back in so I can get as close to the wall as possible so I can give my wife a lot of room when she backs in but look at the thickness in the cables this is the extension cable and this is the this is the old mobile connector which is good for 40 amps and this is the the big old extension cable so i'm not really worried about this thing having any problems My car is pretty much full, but I have not noticed any difference in charging speed. I don't know if it's gonna go all the way up to 32 because it really doesn't need a lot to get to full, but maybe it will. Yeah. That's it. So this setup has been working fine for about a month for us.